Yeah. So um, we've put into Surf some uh, registration functionality because obviously if you're messing around with different uh, images taken at different time points or images from different modalities or whatever, you need those to be in the same space. And so we've got a registration notebook that I'd like to have a look at right now. Um, and that's if you go back to the base level, so we're currently in the pet, but if you go back to the base level and then there's a folder called reg, if you could all go in there for me, and there's one that's called uh, surf registration. Did I go do that too quickly? Just in, in reg and then surf registration. Yeah, you can close the previous one. Yep, sorry. And so um, I mentioned this at the, at the presentation yesterday, but for those that weren't present, uh, the registration functionality in SURF is given by Nifty Reg. So we've wrapped up Nifty Reg. And Nifty Reg obviously uh, has particular names for its algorithms. So if you want to do um, a rigid or a fine registrations, I'll explain very briefly what they are, you would use their algorithms called Aladdin. And if you're doing non-rigid registration, you would do, use their algorithm that's called F3D. Good one. <laughs> and so uh, when I say rigid, I mean that you're allowed to have uh, translation and rotations. So you have six degrees of freedom. If you're doing a fine, you can also have zoom. Uh, so, sorry, you can have magnification. You can have uh, skew. And then if you get non-rigid, uh, you can get, um, obviously, any sort of wacky deformation that you want. So if you're, looking at, uh, if you're looking at brain, and if you're, say, looking at multimodality, or you're looking at a longitudinal study for a, a given patient, your brain is, is, is pretty well encapsulated by your, your skull, and so doesn't grow or shrink. So if you're ever working with brains, obviously you'll want to do rigid registration. So here, be careful, because uh, the, the rigid and the affine come under the same algorithm. So you have to remember to say, I know you're capable of doing an affine registration, but I don't want you to do, use the affine bit. I only want you to do rigid. And that way, you, you can only consider rotations and, and, and translations, which is obviously what you want for the brain. OK, so um, in this, we happen to be using uh, two images called test and test two, which are uh, a T1 and a T2 scan of the same patient. And I think probably if you have a look here, um, you should have seen this about three times now. You should have seen uh, import surf.gadgetron. You'll have seen import surf.stir. And then this is the registration functionality. So it's import surf.reg. And I've imported it as reg so that, as I say, in future, if there were, few, if there were different uh, packages, you could switch, and, uh, switch them in and out. Uh, just a silly method to help me do some im showing. And then some more importing. That's all fine. OK. So here you can see that I've said, um, so in, in every different registration package has its own terminology for what it considers uh, the, the two things that you want to register to be. And in Nifty Reg, it happens to be a reference and a floating image. The reference being the thing that's going to stay still that you want to register to, and the floating being the thing that you're going to, to move to be registered. Yeah. So if I said that, the, uh, so we've got two files, one which is called test and one which is called test2. If I say that test is my reference image, that's the one that's going to stay still. And my floating image, which is test2, is the one that's going to be registered on top of it. And I think probably, uh, if you see, we, we open these images, and then we'll do an im show. So if you have a look at that, you'll see that they both look like brains, um, but that they're not in the same place as each other. And here they look like slightly different sizes, and I think that's just because uh, there's a different number of voxels around it. They're, obviously, the brains are, are the same size. This is just the visualization. OK, so then how would we uh, do some registration with SURF? Well, we'll create a, a, an algorithm. And so we're going to use the Nifty Aladdin uh, symmetric version. All right, so this is just the name of the class in SURF if you want to do a rigid or a fine uh, registration. I'll set my reference image. I'll set my floating image. And here we've also said help to see what else we can do. And if you have a little flick through, 
you've got all of your gets. So these are all the things that you can do once you've finished. Probably what we're interested in right now is some of our sets. And so we can set our, our floating images. We can set masks. So we can say, uh, I don't want the registration to, be, to depend on things that are outside of this mask. You can probably do the same for, the, for both the reference and the floating image. You can set parameter files. So if you prefer to do it that way, you can do it that way. Or if not, you can do it uh, via this set parameter. And here we do that by saying, uh, so this is what I was saying about where, uh, because we're working in the brain, we want to say, do rigid, but don't do a fine. And I've also commented this out, which is saying, this is the, the, uh, the warped padding value. So if, um, Say my image is rotated by 45 degrees. When I rotate it, there's going to be some bits that are chopped off. What I want those values to be filled in with. If I leave it blank, it will fill it in with NANs. And then probably when I visualize that in, in Jupyter Notebook, it will display them. Maybe it'll display them zeros. Maybe it will display them as nothing. I don't know. Or I could say, well, if it's actually outside of the image, I want you to set it to zero, which probably makes sense, right? So uh, I've set everything. I'll do the registration. And then I'll show the, uh, the output. And we probably could have shown the two of them side by side. Uh, so this is uh, the registered image. And if I scroll up, uh, it's looking pretty like it's, it's pretty well aligned with my reference image. So it started as my, my floating image. And then presumably there was a rotation going on that will map it then to my reference image. Yeah? That's a, a little whirlwind tour for how to do some uh, simple registrations in uh, Surf. Once you've done it, you can then extract any of the information that you might want. So here I've said, uh, get me my transformation matrix. I want it in the forward direction. And it looks like there was some, some translations that were going on as well. Mm. Not too much rotation, apparently. Uh, you can get uh, displacement field images, and this would tell you how each of your voxel maps to the other voxel. And so in a, in a rigid or in a fine uh, transformation, this would be pretty boring. But if you had a non-rigid registration, your displacement fields and your deformation field images would show you more interesting patterns. In this case, it, it all looks very boring. And then right here at the bottom, I put this section in because we're going to need it tomorrow. And this is just the resampling. So it says, if I already know what my uh, transformation is, apply it. So you could think of a, a, a registration as a two-step process, right? Saying, what's the mapping that gets me from here to here? And then also, when I say, get me the, my registered image, I then want you to resample it into the, into the new space. 